Hello friends and welcome to a new update on the, well, now we're going to call it the Luman front because Isium has fallen and the latest reports on this is that the Ukrainians are advancing towards the city to take control of it uh, and taking control of all of the villages in the way, on the way, also from the north as the, Ukraine, uh, as the Russians are withdrawing from it towards the east across the Oskil river. So the current situation is that it is unclear how many soldiers are still in Isium and how many have left. And it is unclear how much territory Ukraine has taken so far. And a lot of things are still unclear about this. However, it is confirmed that Isium is being evacuated by the Russians, both civilians and soldiers are leaving the area towards Russian occupied uh, zones in the east. So Isium is under Ukrainian control, under de facto Ukrainian control. I have moved the map to look as if it's all under Ukrainian control. However, it is not yet, but I have done it to represent what Ukraine will have control of. And it's unclear exactly when it will happen, maybe in one hour, maybe in two days, however long it takes. You'll need to clear mines, you'll need to take the village, you need to take control, uh, politically, all of these things. It'll take a long time. Uh, weeks. It will take weeks. However, militarily speaking, they have control over this area. As for the Liman area, there are no reports of fighting on this western eastern border, depending on what perspective you're looking at. However, there are reports that the Ukrainians may be planning an attack in the north towards this main road, towards the Russo-Ukraine border. And finally, uh, on the Liman front itself, there are reports of the Ukrainians advancing from my la latest update. I reported that Brusivka and Seri Karavan are under Ukrainian control. Since then, the Ukrainians have advanced to Diprova and are fighting there, but it is unclear if they are advancing from the south or from the west. However, what is clear is that there are two pontoon crossings, one at each road, uh, as we can see here, one from Kisakitne and one from uh, Slavyansk area. And the Ukrainians have managed to take control of Oserne, which is this village here to the south. So generally, they are now advancing, advancing towards Le Mans. However, uh, the Russians have decided to fight for Le Mans. So they are staying here. They are not withdrawing as they did with Isium, and they will stay and fight for Le Mans, uh, as has been the latest report. And the news is from Ryber as always, or Ryber as someone commented. I think Ryber sounds cooler from an English-speaking person. Uh, it may sound cooler for the Russian language to say river, but uh, I'm not one to judge. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.